thank you everybody for your patience. Um, I was busy listening to SEO and kind of like not paying attention and um, voila, here we are. So I'm super excited though to be able to share with you uh, a, a lot of what I know about LinkedIn specifically for being able to market your services. And I just think it's this really great opportunity to um, showcase your services, whether you have a full-time job or a part-time job that you're trying to do outside of your, maybe your regular job, um, a business that you have. And so these marketing strategies that I'm going to show you, I'm just going to give you a handful of them because there's thousands you can do on LinkedIn. But the ones that I want to be able to share with you are all the free ones, the super easy ones and the ones that I use. And they are the ones that are, I find that have the biggest return on investment. Um, I'm going to talk to you about company pages. They just call them pages, but I think the nomenclature, I think it's helpful to use the word pages, uh, company pages. Um, I'm going to talk to you about LinkedIn live events and newsletters and then providing services. So there, it's sort of funny, like I, I have a long background. You probably may have heard of my business, nutritionjobs.com. I have a new one that just got launched a few weeks ago that, that I haven't been telling too many people about just yet because I'm just working out all the bugs because it was super bootstrapped, but it's called Dietitian salaries.com. I'm super excited about that. I am very, very interested in um, showing, showcasing opportunities for dietitians. And I think a great tool to be able to do that in a great platform is LinkedIn. And I think of LinkedIn as like going to a trade show and your booth is right there. There's people that you want to meet. There's, you want to be able to have a spotlight, a showcase, something to be able to tell people about what it is that you do um, and to be able to work with them and collaborate with them. So that's how I see LinkedIn, that we all know about the personal profile section, and, and that is where you make all your connections. So always having an optimized personal LinkedIn profile is super important. This is mine, I just took a screenshot of it. Um, this is my profile. I have, um, I'm going to show you how to do this. I have creator mode turned on. So not only do I have connections, which are very valuable and you can, that, that's like a currency actually on LinkedIn. Uh, but I also have a follow. Oh, I have, yeah, I've got a lot of followers. I didn't realize what that number is. So it's up to almost 11,000 followers. So these are people that um, can follow my content, uh, but they can't necessarily engage with me, but connections are a, a mutual. Uh, I, I want to connect with them and they want to connect with me and that we can um, engage and communicate that way. It just keeps things a little bit cleaner. You have more control over um, what content gets shared. But I bring this up because um, we all know about your, your personal LinkedIn profile, but I think it's really important to get it um, spiffed up and looking gorgeous because it's, I always say, it's, it's like the, um, the, the, the beautiful Saks Fifth Avenue windows at Christmas time on, in, in New York City. Like people are looking at those windows. People are looking at your LinkedIn profile, whether the lights are on or not, whether the store is open or not, whether you're engaged and on the platform or not. So having your LinkedIn profile looking really professional, really spiffy is helpful. I have a LinkedIn profile checklist that you can download uh, right from nutritionjobs.com. It's uh, like the, the, one of the, the freebies that's up there that you can, that you can grab. I, I think this is important. It doesn't take much to make a big impact. The more you do on your LinkedIn profile, the more that, um, as with all the social media platforms, the more that you do, the uh, more that you will show up in search results. So that's, there's just a few things you need to do. That's all in this checklist. But what I want to talk about is on your professional, on your, on your, personal profile, you have the option to turn on creator mode. Um, they're, they say they're going to eliminate this as an option, but it's been there. And I just looked again this morning, uh, creator mode is still there. So in the meantime, when you do toggle on creator mode, so just showing that you are an, uh, a creator on LinkedIn, it'll give you some tools. These are all fantastic marketing tools um, for your professional profile, your personal profile, but you can also have the company page that gives you some of these additional tools, uh, marketing tools that you can use. These are all free things. So there's the LinkedIn Live. Um, they do the audio events, which I have participated in. I really like those as well. 
uh, newsletters, and I'll, I'll talk to you about that. And then the follow tools, when I said that um, um, people are following me versus just connecting with me, that's what that means. So I highly recommend, while it's still uh, an offering, just do uh, toggle it on. And uh, this may, the toggle may go off and everyone may be a creator eventually. I just haven't seen it come to fruition just yet. So the, one of the first things I also want you to do is consider creating a company page. And I you know you're probably thinking like, oh, I can't add another social media stream to my to-do list for work, but it's really simple to do. You can connect it also to all of your uh, social media delivery platforms. So I use um, um, I used to use Hootsuite uh, and, and now I use Later and I have my company page connected on there. So it's not like a lot of extra effort, but it does give me a lot of benefits. So just as a reminder, then we've got the personal profile. So that would be like Stacey Dunnamke. And then you have your company page and that is my business nutrition jobs. I actually have several company pages for different things, but this is a great way to have a dedicated page and area for your customers, B2B, B2C, that can engage with you. You can show them what services that you have. You can showcase it. And you can also show what your products are. If you have products too, you can do that as well. I'm just going to put in here, I added in here professional groups. I have a very large professional group where it's more, it's just sort of chatting back and forth. It's kind of like your Facebook group. And it's very vibrant. This, I, I thought that they were going to disappear and sort of fade in the, <laughs> in the distance. They are still vibrant. I still get a big return on, on all of this. So I have all three of these things plus, plus more. And I find them to be very, very helpful. So this is a screenshot then of my nutrition jobs company page. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that. So uh, you can create yours by going up to when you're in LinkedIn, you do it on the desktop version, not on, on, not on the mobile version, go to your work tab, and then you scroll down and you'll see at the very bottom, create a company page. They make it super easy for you to do this. They can sh walk you through how to do that. Uh, you can do a showcase page, which I have for one of my dietetic resume uh, uh, guidebooks. Um, you can, uh, this probably won't pertain to the majority of us, but there you can just click on company. It'll walk you through it. You can also see like all the different things from the, the actual page there. There's a couple different ways to navigate there, but I just like clicking on um, the ones that I just described. So then there are a, like a lot of reasons. I, th I signed up not thinking it was going to be much and that it was just going to be like another little footprint over on social media that would be helpful. I've had it for several years, but it has now grown to 154,000 followers. So when I put out content, I put it out to a very large um, population of people who are interested in it. And I have a lot of different features on here. I have a section that's about, so that sort of tells people like how I can be of service to them. It's sort of like your, um, maybe your services page or your about page that you would have on a website. So whether you have a, uh, a whether you're a cookbook author in private practice, I, I know we sort of think of LinkedIn as like business stuff. So B2B, but it's a lot of B2C. It's just a great way to um, be able to provide connections with other people and be able to find your services. So I just say like what it is and then how they search for jobs. Um, you can't see on here, but they are hyperlinked. So people can click out and go back over to, to my, um, my website, which is always the ultimate goal, right? Like it's always to increase traffic onto my website, to buy my products, to look at my jobs. So the employers will post more jobs because that's where the revenue comes from. So, and get more traffic onto the blog. So my sessions increase on my website. So it's always getting back to that. And that, and that's always the, the goal. And when I say return on investment, that's, it's both the sessions and the purchasing and converting. Okay, so one thing I want to show you is they have a really nice call to action section. And I first didn't think it was going to have much of an impact. So I didn't give it too much thought and did like a traditional lead magnet on there. And then I just decided 
I, what I really want, my currency are my email subscribers. And because that's how I get a lot of direct contact with everybody and have some communication on a weekly basis or more than weekly sometimes. And so now my call to action, just sign up <laughs> and maybe people do. People will sign up for my newsletter without like any sort of value proposition or a lead magnet or anything. I think it's kind of funny. You can try it out for yourself. Maybe you want to do like a recipe or a shopping list or a, a, a list of um, um foods that are high in magnesium or whatever it might be, uh, that, that is, uh, you can certainly play around with it. It's dynamic. I, I test things out all the time. I let it run for a, a, a month or so and see what impact it has and, and then move on from there. So how you can initiate your call to action button on your company page is in your admin view. You will just scroll down to edit page and then you have the option over here on the right hand side to uh, select the lead gen form. So again, LinkedIn is all about business. They just want you to make more money so that you'll spend more money, right? Uh, I, I, and I do everything for free on, I don't have a premium account. I don't uh, boost any of my, of my products or, or do anything special, but uh, there's just a lot of free things there. So you can see where you can do contact sales. You can do re request a free demo, start a free trial, just get started works as well. And that could be to a lead magnet. If you want to, you can't change the, the type on it, which is kind of a bummer, but shockingly people do <laughs> click on it a lot every day, all the time. Um, they, uh, I won't go into the whole, all the stuff about LinkedIn about, uh, but this is true with all of the social media platforms. Again, the more, you complete a page and have all the sections completed, the more they will push out your content because they think that you're the real deal and that you're really going to engage with all the customers um, there. They have a nice little checklist of things that you can include and that you should include, like a nice banner, um, um, tagline, uh, what else? Your website URL, a logo, um, hashtags as relevant. I think they're, they're trying to get rid of the hashtags or talks about this. They're, they're getting rid of that, but um, that's sort of the beast of, talking about a social media platform. It's always dynamic, it's always, it's always changing on you. Um, so, so once you have that set up and you are, uh, uh, you know, got all the sections filled out, it doesn't take very long, honestly. I always find LinkedIn a little hard to navigate sometimes, even though I'm on it all the time. It's very rich in, in um, pull downs. And so I just wanted to show you how I always find my company page again. So I go to the me, tab on a desktop version again, and I scroll down and I select my company. So there's nutrition jobs right there. There's my showcase page, there's all kinds of stuff there. You can also go back and, and view your actual profile from there too. So I, th I find that that helpful. All right, so that was company pages. LinkedIn Lives are my other really fun thing. I get, I have so much fun with LinkedIn Lives and I'm going to show you how I do it. I do it a little bit different. So I don't actually call it LinkedIn Live. I call it LinkedIn Events because I don't really do it. I don't live stream it, but I'll show you um, how you can do it. So again, LinkedIn makes it really easy if you've got creator mode toggled on. Um, when I first started my LinkedIn Lives, it was just available on my personal profile. And then they rolled it out to companies, so the company pages. So now I try to do all of my LinkedIn Live events on my company page. So it's very specific to nutrition jobs. I do them like several times a month. Um, and they're really, really fun to do. Um, to create a LinkedIn Live, when you when you are on your um, a company page, you can uh, look over here on the right hand side, and it'll show all of your past events. And uh, then you can um, add um, a, another event, clicking that little plus sign. Um, you can. It's very. They sort of walk you through all of it. You. Uh, I'm not going to walk you through exactly how to do it. I actually do it just a straight up Zoom. And I don't use all of the streaming, but you can. You can stream whatever conversation that you're having with your audience to Facebook, to any other platform that you like to use that you know you get a lot of engagement on. But the genius thing about the LinkedIn Lives and why you want to start there is that all you have to do is create it. You create the page to advertise it. Um, and, and then, of course, you're going to create your content eventually. But LinkedIn does all the marketing for you. You create the topic and the slides and generate a Zoom URL if you wanna do it that way. They create an event page for you 
and then they also market it. Like they send out all of the um, the reminders. Uh, they send out all of like, did you know this is happening? They send out all kinds of stuff to your community and, and really get the ball rolling. So I find that easy because as you know, as a business person, there's, there's so many things you need to do. It's overwhelming, right? So at the, at the core of it is the content that you're spreading to your people, whether it's a B2B or B2C to consumers, to uh, women who, or teens or children or toddlers, whatever it might be. Um, but the marketing is a whole other beast and LinkedIn takes care of all of that. That's why I love doing that. So um, here's an example of me creating an event. I'm going to show you how I do the little um, the background photo, the title photo on there. So I usually do it as my company page, so as Nutrition Jobs. And then I select uh, the event format. I select external event link. So that's a Zoom link. And, um, and then go from there. And then I just say what it's going to be. And I can invite other speakers that are, are also my connections on LinkedIn if I'm going to interview another dietitian. Um, about a particular topic, but they create, then you get this landing page and you can, uh, then you can see there's the URL that is really just the, uh, the zoom link. And then they will click that from LinkedIn and LinkedIn will give that to them in their inbox and that will remind them when they sign up for it. So I always have people sign up here. Um, and again, you can, if you're doing a streaming process, let me show, let's see. Yeah. You can also do the live version. You can do that. Um, and it will stream it, and then you can have a recording of it also. And they use the traditional ways of uh, being able to stream. They take like um, StreamYard and all the ones that you might be familiar with. But like I said, I just use Zoom, and you can do all kinds of things. Again, you don't have to be restrained by the idea that LinkedIn is just B2B. You can do cooking demos. You can do uh, how to create healthy breakfast ideas for teens and for um, athletes or whatever it might be. You can do all kinds of conversations and they can be long, short, it doesn't matter, but just having that engagement, having that dynamic creator um, uh, way of marketing and getting yourself out there is great. So I just wanted to highlight, uh, I really like that they just, they increase your visibility and really get it out there. You've got this built-in audience, obviously with your company page and your connections, you can invite a hundred connections uh, to, uh, to uh, every month to uh, become followers of your company page. So you've got like this built-in um, audience that's already there and they'll help push it out. Now I then take that recording and put it onto YouTube, which is why I don't like to do the streaming. I like to just like make it all happen right then and there. And that is evergreen content for me to have. People can um, have, there's like tutorials, there's ways for them to learn in the future. So I like to include that. All right, so that was it. What are we out for time? Okay. LinkedIn newsletters. Um, I just pushed out another, I, I love LinkedIn newsletters. And I just had a friend in from out of town who is a very successful marketing person. And um, I was just showing her this presentation that I was giving you guys today. And she says, what are LinkedIn newsletters? And um, I, I'm so excited. I was able to share with her and she's going to take it back to her big wig company and I can share it with you as well. So I started this because I wanted to have some experience in doing newsletters. I have a regular newsletter uh, with MailChimp. It's a very traditional one. I've got a lot of subscribers, like 14,000 subscribers. And I was totally fine with that, but I was giving a talk on newsletters and I wanted to uh, show, be able to tell people like how you set it up. So I set one up kind of quickly. I uh, put out something on habit trackers. Um, I published it. Um, I got the little link to the article and I obviously started with one subscriber, which was me. Um, and uh, a few hours later, <laughs> LinkedIn had sent out, had advertised that I had this um, newsletter or article that was out um, and asked people to join. Um, in like nine hours, I got over 500 subscribers on this particular newsletter. And I thought, oh, wow, that's a lot. Like, I work really hard to get <laughs> the other email subscribers over on my traditional MailChimp uh, platform. And I'm like, that's, that was really interesting. Okay, that was just a fluke. Um, it's continued to grow and I love doing it um, and it's really simple to do. And if you already have a newsletter, you can just sort of mirror that, maybe make some tweaks and you can put it out onto this audience. So yes, I have four, 14,000 plus subscribers over on MailChimp, but now I also have, I don't know what it is now. I think it's around 5,000 or so subscribers on 
LinkedIn. They both have, uh, they both convert, they both do stuff. Um, they both have really high open rates and there might be some overlap between them, but I am getting this whole other audience that I would not have even thought that I was be able to capture, uh, that are getting my content and understanding how nutrition jobs can benefit them, how they can improve their professional uh, profiles and how they can get jobs and, you know, just goes around in a big circle. So I wanted to just show you how you do this. This, so at the time that I took this particular screenshot, newsletters were only allowed on personal profiles now they're allowed on both so you don't you could just disregard but in either section whether it's on your company page or on your personal profile when you're going to start a post you just click the right article and then it'll ask you what you want to do do you want to publish this article um, it'll give you some options and this is a little pull down do I want to publish an actual article or do I want to publish a newsletter and it'll it'll, it'll get you moving into the right direction is, is there's the individual article like a blog article or dietitian job success which is what I call this newsletter do I want to publish it as me or as nutrition jobs or as the group <laughs> or where, where do you want to publish it it like, makes it really simple and then you just put in all of your information that you want to communicate with people um, it looks just like a regular, it has the regular, um, what do you call that, the, the, the uh, markup, all the style stuff that you would expect in any kind of blog post. So it makes it very, very simple. They make it, they always want you to do more stuff. So they, on LinkedIn, I actually think that they do help you start off with new products super easily. I like that about um, LinkedIn. There's, you know, some stuff is hard to navigate, but that is really good. Um, the cover image is kind of big and what I recommend doing, did I put this in here? Oh, let me tell you, um, I'll, sh I'll go back to that about the, the, um, the, the title slide in there. Um, then what happens, this was sort of news to me, not only does it get pushed out to my, uh, my, my subscribers, it also uh, then goes to their email inbox. I think I said this five times uh, straight to my friend who couldn't believe that it not only was going out on LinkedIn in my LinkedIn feed, but it was going to people's email inbox. So it's like covering all the bases. And that just goes to my subscribers. The other one could go to um, other, other people too. So this was a while ago. This is 1100. This went into people's email inbox. It was really, really cool. You don't get that very often. <laughs> like, and it, again, it has a really high open rate. I don't know what its open rate is, but um, probably in the in the 40 to 50% open rate, which is, as you guys know, is, is really good. Um, then, then it creates this little post. I can say anything more about it and share it that way as well and include hashtags. Um, it creates a, a link so I could also put it over onto other platforms if I want to be able to share it. There's just a, a lot of different options. The other nice thing is it gives you some analytics based on people's profile on LinkedIn. So it can tell me who is looking at it. Um, it can tell me if they're business owners or professionals or if, if they're professors, tell me if they're students, which can help me uh, understand if my content was meaningful to my uh, my audience, my, con my uh, community, and if that was something that they want to continue with. Or maybe I need to, to re, you know, uh, change it up a little bit. Um, I'm going to just quickly say about the branding. I, uh, I sort of didn't do this right away, but I eventually got into it, like have a nice little uh, brand to it. This is what I started with. Um, this is what I've got now. I've sort of switched over to the purple. And then you can use in Canva, you can, uh, uh, for the actual size, do the LinkedIn sponsored content when they're asking you for the size for the um, what you're doing. Okay. Um, I am th then going to go to providing services. This is a really great way to get a lot of engagement with your community. This is actually done back over on your personal profile and you can click the open to and then provide some services. So I have it over here. I should have put them closer together so you can see it, but you can provide services and you can say what it is that you want to do. People can contact you directly. Um, like for example, if I do like one-on-one -on -one, uh, resume reviewing for people or LinkedIn reviews, I put that all in there and that's a really great way for people to find you so then in my i didn't take a screenshot of this but in my my inbox i've got all of my regular connections with inbox with the uh, messages and then there's a separate section for um providing services so you can kind of keep them separate too um so that i just wanted to make sure you saw all those ones again going back to the checklist with uh linkedin it always starts with your personal profile and making sure that that is really um 
um, fit, you know, shiny and looking modern and having some relevant information in there. It's not your resume. It's got some really great tools that you can use that are all free. I was trying to screech through this because I could go on and on and on about how dietitians can be doing more with LinkedIn and all of the, the free services and marketing services that are on there. But um, if you want to connect with me, you can find me over on LinkedIn or nutritionjobs.com or you can email me. Um, I like to hang out on Instagram, <laughs> even though I love LinkedIn. So you can always find me over there as well. Okay, I'm gonna look in the chat. Um, and see, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, it's all free, it's all free. Um, creator mode, I wouldn't worry about creator mode right now. It, it is only where you toggle onto it on your personal profile. That's how you find it in the first place. And it's uh, um, it, that's gonna be going away anyway, but yes, that's where you find it. And um, once you're in creator mode, you you just have like all these all these capabilities that bleed out into all of the other showcase and product pages and company pages that you make. So yeah, it just starts with that. Um, hi, uh, let's see, LinkedIn Live. Um, yes, you can use StreamYard. I'm just like I know I built a website, and I am just like not good with both Zoom and StreamYard. Zoom I can barely handle for some reason, as you could tell, not today. Um, but so I don't know StreamYard very well. Um, Megan Boitano is really good at all that stuff, so you can ask her some questions about how to do that. But um, yeah, that's that's good. Um, yes, move it up to the top of your list. It is so impactful, free, and very. I get the biggest return on my investment. That is my number. LinkedIn is my number one referral for business for money, and my website makes a lot of money. And so th this is this is the, the place. Um, if there are any other questions, you guys can just connect with me on LinkedIn. I think, you, do you have anything? Oh, I forgot what the schedule is, but, um, that's all I have for now, guys. Thank you.